Some children just don't, they don't do that. They don't respect their mother. They, they curse their mother. They steal from their mother. They dishonor their mother. They treat their mother like, like just hideous. Some children do. And that's just pure evil. You know, I want to tell you a little bit, a little story about somebody one time that told me, it's been a few years ago, I ran into this pastor. And this pastor, he said he had the privilege to go to the old folks' home to visit, you know, a nursing home, whatever you want to call it, and just to see some of the people, the mothers in the nursing home. I used to be a nursing, a nursing assistant before I started driving the tractor trailer. And, um, and he described to me that he took the Bible with him because he knew it would be many people out there that had been left alone there at the old folks' home for a long time, and they would love to hear the word or some, something about God. And that morning, he said, he stood there at the bedside of this mother and asked her, how long have you been here? She said, I've been out here for a long time. And he asked her, do you have a son or do you have a daughter? That mother told him, she said, my children put me in this place a long time ago. And they haven't been back to see me at all. And just think about that. I was just thinking about that and remind me of a day that another the lady told me a story that I want to share with some of you children about your mother. She said there was a mother that had two sons. One of the sons was interested in himself and this son loved his mother so much. He said, Mama, Mama, one day I'm going to grow up and I'm going to college. And I'm going to be somebody, Mama. And I'm going to take care of you, Mama, just like you've been taking care of me. But the other brother, he was no good. He wasn't sure about what he wanted to do. He was no, he was no good. He stayed in trouble all the time. The Mama had to always go to court to get that son out of trouble. And I'm told that these, but these boys, they grew up. When they grew up, the one went to college. And that old no good son... He left home. That mama worked her fingers to the bone and sent that boy to school, to college. She got down on her knees and she scrubbed floors, climbed ladders and washed windows. She washed, um, she took care of hours of ironing and cleaning and washing. And th that boy went to school. He wanted to be somebody. Yes, that mama worked her fingers to the bones because she wanted that boy to be somebody. But after about eight years or so, that son came back home from college after he graduated. He said, Mama, I'm a doctor now. I've got an MD behind my man name, Mama. I want you to meet my wife, Mama. I met her while I was in college. She's a school teacher, Mama. That mother said, well, son, I'm mighty proud of you. Come, we want you to come and live with us, Mama and help us raise our children. So as the years went by and the children grew up, 
one day that school teacher, she went to her husband and said, honey, your mama's in the way now. You ought to get rid of your mama. You can get somebody else to, to do the job that she's doing, taking care of our children. There's other young girls that can work their way through college or through school on this job. Your mama uses bad English. She uses this and that and is and ain't. I'm trying to teach our children to use good language. I want you to take your mama to the old folks home, honey. That son went and knocked on his mama's door. He said, mama. That mother got up and walked to the bedroom door and she opened up her bedroom door and the son said, I talked with my wife and we believe that we got to get rid of you, mama. We got to put you in an old folks home. She felt so bad, she was getting in the way. She was getting in the way. He said, you're getting in the way around the house, mama. And we don't have anything else for you to do, mama. You use a bad English, and we don't want this to rub off on our children, mama. I'm going to take you to the old folks home. Do y'all know what that mama did? That mama, that mother turned around, went back in her room, tears streaming down her face. She looked at her hands. They were all worn out and wrinkled from all the work she had been doing. And she thought about all the things she had done for that boy. And now he's getting ready to throw her out, throw her outdoors, more or less. She had worked her fingers to the bone. That mother just kept on crying. She began to pack up all her clothes. And while she was packing her clothes, the devil came and whispered in her ear and said, see that lady? You did, it, it hasn't been worth it. And look at you, all you've done for that boy and he's gonna get ready to throw you out, throw you out. That mama, that mama, she finished packing her clothes, tears still streaming down her face. So the next day, that son came back to her room. He tried to make things sound good to, to his mother. He said, Mama, get your stuff together. The limousine is waiting outside. That mother reached back, got her hat, got her bag, and that son said, Mama, I'm going to have you in your room out there. I'm going to have you a big color TV. You're going to have nursing around the clock, Mama. You're going to have everything that you want and everything that you need, Mama. That mama walked out of that house, got into that long, long, long limousine, and they started on down that road, going to the old folks' home. So while they were riding, every now and then that son would look back and say, Mama, please don't cry. But she just kept on crying. He said, Mama, everything is going to be all right. I'm going to come and visit you every day. I'm going to bring the children by to see you. But that mama just still kept on crying. And as they got closer and closer to the old folks' home, after a while, that mama sat up and touched that son on the shoulder. And she said, son, I wouldn't mind going to the old folks' home if I was sick of my body. But I'm not sick, son. There's nothing wrong with me. And by the time they got almost to the old folks' home, that mama looked up and out the window and down the road, she saw an old raggedy car coming towards them. And by the time that old raggedy car got up there where they was, that mama looked over at that old raggedy car and spotted that old no good son. She said, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold it. She said, I believe I saw my boy going there. And they stopped those cars and they got out. And that old no good son, he walked over to his mother and greeted her with a kiss. He said, Mama, how you been doing? I was on my way home to see you, Mama. How you been doing, Mama? I was on my way to tell you that the things I used to do, I don't do no more, Mama. No, I don't, Mama. That old no good boy said, Mama, last night, I stopped by a little old storefront church, mama, 
And I took me a seat on the back row of the church, mama. And the Holy Ghost traveled from the front to the back. And it landed on me, mama. Mama, I'm a brand new creature, he said. That son went over to his brother and said, brother, where you going with mama? Everybody's all dressed up. I want to know where you going with mama. I see you got all her luggage and stuff in the car. Where you taking my mama? That doctor's brother stepped back and said, wait a minute, you've been gone a long time and I've been putting up with mama. We're sick and tired of her moaning and groaning every time our guests come over. And when my doctor friends come over to visit at my house, mama always praying and speaking in tongues. Mama is old fogy now. She's getting old timey. And she's getting in the way around the house. She uses bad English. And I'm successful now. Look at me. I'm wearing good clothes, good shoes. And I'm in the high society club. I'm on my way to take mama to the old folks home, bro. That old no good son looked over at his mama and said, and looked back at his brother and said, wait a minute. Did I hear you say you take a mama to the old folks home? You going to the old folks home with my mother? He said, that's where I'm going. He said, oh, no, you're not. That no good son said, mama, I'm not riding in a limousine. My car is no good. My tires is almost worn out. But come on and go home with me, mama. Mama, look at me. I've been a failure all my life, mama. I gave you a lot of trouble back in the day, mama. I don't live in a fine place, mama. I don't have a two rooms. And the rent is still due on those two rooms. But if you don't mind sleeping on a cot with me, come on and go home with me, mama. I don't eat the best of foods. I don't eat steaks. I can't afford to eat the best of food, mama. I eat beans out of a can, mama. But if you don't mind, come on and go home with me, mama. That mama got out of that limousine. She got her bags and she got her hat and she got in that old raggedy car. And they started on down the road. And I heard that old no good son say, God gave you your mama. Don't drive her away. Don't drive your mother away. God is watching you. Somebody here, God gave you 